Hello everybody, welcome in the March vlog! You might be wondering why is it another vlog and there hasn't been a single makeup video for like... 3 months? Um, I don't know! The thing is, I've got some videos in the making and some that just didn't meet the standard I set for myself so I decided not to release release them but there is no, no excuse for me at least we've got a vlog for me March started with an illness and I had quite high fever and you know at first I thought about you know what could it be but it wasn't it was okay, it was just a cold and I didn't have cough and body aches. During that time I watched a lot of anime. I came back to Honey and the Clover two seasons. Three three or four seasons of Madame Cantabile, two seasons of St. Gatson Alliance, so it was a blast. I loved that. And after that, in the middle of March. I went home because our classes on university were cancelled and as you can see it was so empty on the roads like really and in the cities as well you can feel the emptiness and here you've got some view of my region on the right we have bits of winter <laughs> actually I must say the forest with snow looks so pretty I just wanted to capture that. This is where the quarantine actually started for me. To sum up, it looks something like this. Besides from sleeping and building my immunity this way, it's my favorite way. Uh, I did some skincare because I had time. I did some cavitation peel. It's one of my favorite facials ever. The skin is really smooth and you can feel the difference after the facial. The procedure is not very complicated. If you want me to, to tell you some more about it, just tell me in the comments. I'm ready for it. But you can see like this little cloud of water. Yes it should be like this and it's extremely satisfying for me <laughs> yeah it is a little bit red irritated especially here and here it's nothing to be worried about will soothe, calm down very quickly. I also did a lot of face masks, like pretty much every kind you can imagine. The sheet mask, clay mask, gel mask, cream mask, whatever you want. I did it. Why are all the sheet masks so big? It's like ugh, always getting in my hair, always too long at the mouth. And I swear, at least at the end of this whole ridiculous situation, my skin will be glowing just from within. It looks very, very bad. My lines are too long, like way too long. <laughs> and altogether, I look like a cocktail spaniel. Now, in a time of crisis, I'm really thinking of cutting it myself right now. Is it a good idea to just make it shorter? The hair go longer. 
it's not really long hair in my criteria, but it's quite good. It's quite visible. It's a change. I'm gonna try and cut it, but not on camera, because it's just it's stressful. We'll see you again if it turns okay, and I won't see you again if it turns very very bad. to make a henna tattoo just a little bit of henna yep. and it will be a small tattoo it will be on my left wrist I think because it's mm, maybe not the easiest but I'm right-handed so I have no choice and I think I'm gonna do uh, something easy <laughs> because I've never done it before uh, maybe something I thought of uh, Gemini symbol, zodiac symbol. It's something like um, like this, <laughs> but better. Let's try. One. It's not comfortable. <laughs> One eternity later. enough hopefully it will be black not gray when i wash it just gonna wait like 10 15 minutes okay so it's been 20 minutes and i yeah i, I tried some things <laughs> um it's time to wipe it <sighs> let's reveal the effect It looks black. That's good. Not pitch black. But it's... Mm. Okay, this is dark grey. <laughs> but the shape is kind of... What I wanted. It's not that bad, right? Here we've got another dying plant. So... It's probably the same case as Tamari, he will not survive and for Shikaku I'm not sure because he's got a lot of green leaves so maybe I could plant him somewhere else but the thing is you can see those black dots those are the bugs that I can't get rid of and they just keep eating my aloes like here to see that yeah so those bugs I, I don't know what's that nothing seems to work so for now they will just be isolated here you know it's coronavirus time it's trendy to be isolated I will let them die in peace probably <laughs> I, I'm helpless, I don't know. That's sad. With all the coronavirus confusion that is going on right now, one very important thing is happening for me, which is my graduation. Uh, as of today, the 31st of March, I am finishing my five and a half year long adventure with pharmacy. And tomorrow I will no longer be a pharmacy student. It feels kind of crazy because today is no different from yesterday, from a week ago, from two weeks ago. But it just changes from tomorrow. My graduation is happening with no trace, with no celebration, because our graduation ceremony was cancelled. It was not even postponed, it was just straight cancelled. So we won't have a moment of throwing our hats in the air and having fun. Sadly, thinking about this journey coming to an end actually makes me quite nostalgic, because it 
it wasn't always easy and fun. You guessed, pharmacy is not the easiest major and for me it was also juggling two majors at the same time. It required a lot of effort, hard work and determination. But this whole experience just made me stronger, it made me wiser, it proved that I can do it, it was possible. It was also a huge personal growth for me, I learned a lot about myself too. And I met amazing friends and yes, my fellow graduates, congratulations! We survived that, we graduated. So far so good. And I know some of you are going to work right now. And honestly, could there be a crazier time than that to start a job, to start a career? Uh, no. I really keep fingers crossed for you. I'll be thinking about you. I'm not starting a job, but I'll be asking how it's going. It will be fine. I know.